Do Cal Penn and John Cho get free White Castle for life? It seems uh, unseemly to walk in and ask for essentially a $3 discount. Hey, this is John Cho. The internet is a place with a lot of opinions, and today we're gonna read some of them. I wonder if the name MILF guy number two still follows him everywhere. The answer is yes, it does follow me everywhere. People uh, uh, still recognize me from that movie. It's a teen comedy that was as big as Star Wars, you know? <laughs> it's a strange thing in 2023 to consider that a movie, a comedy was that big. Yeah, people still, still call me MILF guy. Do Cal Penn and John Cho get free White Castle for life? It seems uh, unseemly to walk in and ask for essentially a $3 discount. I think I stopped by once. It might have been with Cal. It might have been a prank of ours to see what would happen. It turns out you can't get uh, Coors through the White Castle drive-thru. Yeah, I did. I'd kind of forgotten that. But yeah, I guess I auditioned for Jim. Yeah. This is, this is insane because it is my favorite show of all time. I don't think I was close to being on the show, but that I was in the neighborhood of people who were on the show. <gasps> Petition to bring back Selfie. Love this show. They should bring it back. It was a good time. I really enjoyed acting with Karen Gillan, and the writing was really sharp. <laughs> my career is littered with... Uh, <laughs> shows that didn't make it that far and this is one of the um the shows to su suffer my curse hopefully uh, i can work with uh, some of those people again my guy john cho looking ripped i wonder how he trained for this you know you go in the gym you do what they tell you and <laughs> and i was doing a lot of martial arts training at the time and you try and lay off the aforementioned white castle during that training period it was brief but it was a glorious uh glorious two minutes where i looked like that uh, secret to looking 20. <laughs> at the gym that I was working out at, they had this chamber where it goes down like some insane sub-freezing temperature. You come out of there and y you're high for a number of hours. You feel so great, so refreshed. You can only stand it for like 60 seconds or 120 seconds or something like that. So there's a clock on the wall and you gotta get out right afterwards. I wonder if George Takei gave him any advice on playing Sulu. We knew, knew one another prior to me uh, booking that job. Just my entire career, he's been very encouraging and uh, sweet with me. There's nobody else that looked like me on television. Um, him, maybe Pat Morita on Happy Days. Um, it was incredibly meaningful that he was so generous with me. Fun fact, the actor who played Harold didn't know there was a dog in the cage when filming, and that was his genuine reaction. Um, that was acting, punk. He couldn't have said that. Um, how dare you? I, I, it's not like you have to do a whole lot of acting. It's a vicious dog barking at you. If I could star in a remake of any classic comedy, what would I choose? Um, I'd like to do a remake of the Pink Panther. I'll take a, also a Columbo, which is not a straight comedy, but he's very funny. Oh, I'm sorry. There is no such thing as a perfect murder. That's just an illusion. Uh, I'd like to do a, a, a bumbling detective. I have heard what the internet has to say, and I have responded. So there. Thanks for watching. <laughs>